employee at the Whole Foods in Swampscott has died from coronavirus, the second supermarket worker that we know of to die in this outbreak. WBZ's Beth Germano has our story tonight from Swampscott. Very saddened that it's so close. Kay Hannity works at a liquor store next to the Swampscott Whole Foods, a frontline worker devastated by the loss of an employee there and worried about the risks of the job. If you're out there and you're dealing with people, at from public service, you're, you're at risk, higher risk, you know. You don't know who you're dealing with sometimes. Some people might be sick and you don't, you don't know that. The employee is Leon Marin of Lynn, who worked in prepared foods at the store. A family friend said he was the sole worker for his family, and his wife, who has asthma, is now very sick as well. Very heartbroken because he's the man they used to support his house, according to his wife. And I know that they have some difficult... Um, time. And it was a heartbreak for regular shoppers who've come to rely on the service of grocery store workers. They may not know his name, but they feel for his family and co workers. I'm here a lot. These workers are, you know, part of my family. So I, yeah, my heart breaks really for everybody who's suffering and for. For those on the front lines that have to risk their lives every day. Last week, 59 year old Vitalina Williams, a Salem Market Basket employee, died from the virus. Here at Whole Foods, it's unclear when the worker was last on the job. Swampscott has adopted strict guidelines requiring all shoppers and employees to wear masks inside retail stores. The head of the Board of Selectmen says Whole Foods has followed the mandate. Really good communication, really good cooperation. Uh, everybody seems to be taking it very seriously and very responsive to things that we're asking for. Kay Hannity says it shouldn't take a tragedy to make everyone aware. It's just protection for you and for me. In a statement, Whole Foods called it an incredibly difficult time and will offer counseling to support its workers who do the job every day. In Swampscott, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.